Have you ever wondered what's really in those convenient, ready-to-eat meals that line supermarket shelves? In today's fast-paced world, processed foods have become a staple in many of our diets. They're quick, they're easy, and let's face it, often they're quite tasty. But have we ever stopped to think about what we're really consuming? In the bustling aisles of our local grocery stores, these foods are everywhere. From frozen pizzas to canned soups, from microwavable dinners to instant noodles, they promise us convenience and speed. But behind their shiny packaging and appealing marketing, there lies a hidden reality. Many of these products are loaded with high levels of sodium, sugars, and fats. These are ingredients that our bodies certainly don't need in excess. In fact, consuming them in large amounts can lead to health problems such as obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. But the dangers don't stop there. Alongside these problematic components, many processed foods also contain a cocktail of artificial preservatives. These are chemicals added to extend shelf life, enhance color, or improve taste. While they may keep our foods looking fresh and appealing, they can also have adverse effects on our health. Some studies suggest that certain artificial preservatives may contribute to increased risk of cancer, allergic reactions, and other health issues. But why should we worry? After all, these ingredients are approved by food safety authorities, right? Well, while it's true that many of these substances are deemed safe for consumption in small amounts, the problem lies in their prevalence. They're in so many of the foods we eat daily which means we could be consuming far more than the recommended limits without even realizing it. This is the hidden danger lurking in our pantries. It's not just about what's in these foods, but also about how much of it we're eating. It's about the cumulative effect of these ingredients on our health over time. And it's about the power we have to make better choices for our health and well-being. Unpacking the truth behind these ingredients sets the stage for our deep dive into the world of processed foods. So stay tuned as we peel back the shiny wrappers and reveal what's really hiding in your pantry. Now we know that these foods may not be as innocent as they seem, but what exactly are the risks? Let's start with high sodium intake. Sodium is necessary for our bodies but in the right quantities. Processed foods, however, often contain sodium levels that far exceed healthy limits. Overconsumption of sodium can lead to high blood pressure, a risk factor for heart disease and stroke. It's a silent threat that lurks in the shadows of our favorite snacks and meals. Next, we have the sweet but dangerous sugars. Processed foods are notorious for their high sugar content. Excessive sugars are not just bad for your teeth, they can lead to obesity and type 2 diabetes. They can also cause spikes and crashes in your energy levels leaving you feeling drained and craving more sugar. It's a vicious cycle that can be hard to break. Now let's talk about unhealthy fats. Trans fats and saturated fats are often used in processed foods to enhance flavor and extend shelf life. However, these fats increase your bad cholesterol levels while lowering the good ones. This imbalance can lead to heart disease, stroke, and even certain types of cancer. Lastly, artificial preservatives. These are chemicals added to food to prevent spoilage. While they may keep your food looking fresh, they can do the opposite to your body. Some artificial preservatives have been linked to adverse health effects, including allergies, asthma, and certain types of cancer. The common thread here is that these risks aren't just isolated incidents, they're interconnected. High sodium can lead to heart disease which can be exacerbated by unhealthy fats. Excessive sugars can lead to obesity, which increases the risk of heart disease and diabetes. Artificial preservatives can contribute to these health issues and introduce new ones. The link between processed foods and chronic diseases such as obesity, heart disease and diabetes is clear. And the more we understand these risks, the better equipped we are to make healthier choices. Processed foods may be convenient, but at what cost? The evidence is clear, processed foods are linked to a host of health issues. Let's delve deeper into one of the most deceptive culprits in processed foods, sugar. Sugar is a master of disguise, hiding under a plethora of names on ingredient lists. Whether it's calling itself fructose, corn syrup, dextrose, or maltose, it's all the same sweet trap. Even words like fruit juice, concentrate, cane crystals, or agave nectar might sound healthier, but don't be fooled, they're just different forms of sugar. This deceptive labeling can lead to unintentional overconsumption. Hidden sugars in processed foods can cause us to ingest far more than the recommended daily limit, which for an average adult is no more than 6 to 9 teaspoons. When we surpass this, we're setting a trap for our health. So why is this a problem? Well, excessive sugar intake can lead to a myriad of health issues. First off, it can contribute to obesity. 
Sugar is high in calories but low in nutritional value, meaning we take in more energy than we can use leading to weight gain. Then, there's diabetes. Consistently high sugar intake can cause insulin resistance, a precursor to type 2 diabetes. The more sugar we consume, the harder our bodies must work to keep blood sugar levels stable. Over time, this can wear out the pancreas, leading to diabetes. And let's not forget about heart disease. High sugar diets can lead to high blood pressure and inflammation, both risk factors for heart disease. Not to mention, sugar can increase levels of unhealthy cholesterol and triglycerides. But it's not all doom and gloom. By being aware of the different names sugar hides under and making informed food choices, we can avoid falling into the sugar trap. Remember, it's not about eliminating sugar entirely, but rather, managing our intake to support our overall health. Sugar, under any name, adds up and can have devastating effects on our health. Sugar isn't the only hidden enemy. Sodium, often overlooked, is another silent threat. Let's dive into the world of sodium. Sodium is crucial for our bodily functions. It helps maintain fluid balance, aids in muscle contraction, and plays a critical role in nerve impulse transmission. However, like many things in life, too much of it can be harmful. When we consume excess sodium, our kidneys struggle to eliminate it. As a result, it begins to accumulate in our bloodstream, attracting and retaining water. This increased volume of blood exerts more pressure on our blood vessels and heart, leading to high blood pressure, heart disease, and stroke. It's a silent threat that, over time, can take a heavy toll on our health. So, where is all this sodium coming from? If you're thinking about the salt shaker on your dining table, you're only partly right. While table salt does contribute to our sodium intake, the majority of it comes from processed and packaged foods. Processed foods are notorious for their high sodium content. Food manufacturers often add sodium to their products as a preservative and flavor enhancer. It's found in everything from canned soups and frozen dinners to baked goods and even breakfast cereals. And it's not just the obviously salty foods like chips and pretzels. Foods that don't taste particularly salty, like pastries and sweet beverages, can also be packed with sodium. It's easy to exceed the recommended daily intake of sodium when we consume processed foods regularly. To put it into perspective, a single slice of processed pizza can contain more than half of our daily sodium needs. And that's just one meal. We must become savvy label readers, understanding the sodium content of the foods we consume. Reducing our reliance on processed foods and opting for fresh, whole foods can significantly cut down our sodium intake. The salt shaker isn't the only source of sodium to worry about, it's lurking in our processed foods too. Let's continue to explore the impacts of our food choices in the next scene. Scene script, fats and preservatives complete the deadly quartet of processed food ingredients. As we delve deeper into the world of processed foods, we encounter a dangerous duo, fats and preservatives. These two are the final players in our quartet of harmful ingredients often found in processed foods. Now let's talk about fats. Fats are not all bad, in fact our bodies need certain types of fats to function properly. However, the issue arises when we consume too much of the wrong kind. Trans fats and saturated fats are the villains here. They're often used in processed foods to enhance flavor and extend shelf life. But the price we pay could be our health. These fats increase bad cholesterol levels and decrease good cholesterol levels, leading to an increased risk of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. On the other hand, we have unsaturated fats, which are typically found in natural foods like avocados, nuts, and fish. These fats are good for our heart health and can even help reduce bad cholesterol levels. The key is to choose foods with unsaturated fats over those laden with trans and saturated fats. Next up, preservatives. These are substances added to foods to prevent spoilage. They help extend the shelf life of products, keeping them fresh for longer. While this may sound beneficial, the reality isn't as rosy. Some preservatives have been linked to health issues, ranging from allergies and asthma to certain types of cancer. For example, sodium nitrite, often used in cured meats, can form potentially carcinogenic compounds when cooked. The problem is, these preservatives are so common in processed foods that avoiding them can be a challenge. But it's a challenge worth taking on for the sake of our health. So, there you have it, the deadly duo of fats and preservatives. They may make our food taste better and last longer, but at what cost? With every bite of processed food, we may be ingesting more of these harmful substances than we realize. The risks are clear but how can we start to make healthier choices? This is the question that likely brought many of you to this video. The answer is simpler than you might expect, it begins with awareness. 
Start by taking a good look at your pantry and refrigerator. Identify the processed foods that have become staples in your diet. These could be anything from canned soups, ready meals, to packaged snacks. Once you've identified them, it's time to find healthier alternatives. One of the best ways to reduce processed food consumption is by embracing whole foods. Whole foods are foods that have been processed or refined as little as possible and are free from additives or other artificial substances. They're foods like fruits, vegetables, lean meats, and whole grains. When you start incorporating these into your diet, you'll notice a difference. Not just in how you feel, but in your overall health. Whole foods are packed with nutrients that our bodies need to function optimally. They can help boost our immune system, improve our digestion, and even aid in weight loss. But don't just take my word for it. Let's take a look at some easy-to-make meals that utilize whole foods. For breakfast, you could have a bowl of oatmeal topped with fresh fruits and a sprinkle of cinnamon. For lunch, try a salad made with leafy greens, lean protein, and a homemade dressing. And for dinner, how about a piece of grilled chicken with a side of steamed vegetables and quinoa? These meals are not just nourishing, but also delicious and satisfying. And remember, the goal isn't to completely eliminate processed foods overnight. It's about making gradual changes and finding a balance that works for you. It's okay to indulge in your favorite processed food once in a while. But by making whole foods the mainstay of your diet, you'll be taking a big step towards healthier living. With a few simple changes, we can start to regain control of our diets and our health. So why not start today? After all, every journey begins with a single step. And this journey is one that leads to a healthier, happier you. So, what's the takeaway from all this? Let's recap what we've journeyed through together in this enlightening exploration of the food we consume. We open the doors of our pantries only to discover hidden dangers lurking in the guise of everyday food items. The processed foods that we've unknowingly invited into our homes pose a silent threat to our health. The key culprits are the excessive amounts of sugar, sodium, fats, and preservatives, each having its own set of risks. The sugar trap is a sweet and enticing one, but it's a slippery slope to harmful health conditions like diabetes and heart disease. Sodium, though essential in moderation, can lead to high blood pressure and kidney disease when consumed in excess. Fats, particularly trans and saturated fats, contribute to high cholesterol levels and obesity. And let's not forget the preservatives, those unseen agents that extend shelf life, but can potentially lead to allergies and other health issues. But it's not all doom and gloom. The good news is that we have the power to change. We can make the switch to healthier food choices. Choosing fresh over processed, natural over synthetic, whole over refined. These are the steps to nourishing our bodies rather than simply filling them. The secret lies in being conscious consumers, in reading labels, understanding what goes into our food, and making informed choices. Opting for foods with fewer ingredients, ingredients we can pronounce and recognize, ingredients that are wholesome and good for our bodies. That's the switch we're talking about. We've also learned that it's not just about avoiding the bad, but also about embracing the good. Incorporating more fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins into our diet can make a significant difference to our health. Remember, every meal is an opportunity to nourish your body. Choose wisely.